Hi everyone! I hope you're all well. This is video three in a little mini series I'm making where I'm looking at my most impulsive purchases that I've made recently. I try to be quite sensible with my money usually and recently those rules have went out the window. I've been so impulsive and I'm trying to take accountability because I don't want this to become a normal thing. You guys are my accountability buddies. Just stop me from spending more. Somebody take my card away from me. This is video three. I think there's going to be five and I'm really hoping there's no more after that because honestly five is a lot. Five is a lot for me. I don't usually buy things. I usually have so many no spend days in a month and recently it just seems there's been so many things that have been playing with my emotions that I feel like I need to have now. Today's video is another Taylor Swift purchase which probably isn't a big surprise to anyone who's been on my channel before. I'm a big Taylor Swift fan. I started this channel because I was a big Taylor Swift fan and I was traveling to various shows with my friend and just having a great time. And I work with Lovin Lipman, who also does a lot of Taylor Swift news videos and stuff like that. So right now it feels like Taylor Swift music, Taylor Swift community, just anything to do with Taylor Swift is a big part of my life. When Folklore was initially released, it was possible to buy eight different album covers and they all had different artwork, they all had really cool names and stuff like that. I really like them but I was trying to be sensible with my money and I was trying to wait till Christmas to get the album. I didn't end up waiting till Christmas in the end. What actually happened was a local record store to me managed to get some signed folklores and my absolute gem of a friend Liam managed to get me one. It was the signed In The Trees folklore and I absolutely love that. But I do still have regrets that I didn't manage to get the other covers as well. So recently I saw a fan who was selling them at what I considered to be a reasonable price and I decided to get them. The only one that she didn't have was Meet Me Behind Them All which is absolutely fine because that's actually the Target edition. I'm going to be getting that separately. Spoiler alert, that's one of the upcoming videos. There was some damage which was you know, not great, but at the same time, I'm not planning to sell them. They're just kind of for my own personal collection, so I don't really mind the damage as such. Before we get to the unboxing, I did have one regret before the CDs had even been sent out to me, and that's that when I told one of my friends that I was buying them from a second-hand seller, they said, why didn't you just get them on the UK store? They'd hidden the links, they'd hidden all of that, I couldn't see it in the store catalogue but they were still available to buy. So my regret is that I could have just bought them brand new for £9.99 each on the Taylor Swift store and instead I've bought them second hand from another fan. They had wonderful customer service for a second hand seller so it's not their fault at all, I just should have done better research. Anyway with all that being said let's get to the unboxing. Last parcel of the day, this one is a biggie. It's nine o'clock at night already, so this is definitely the last parcel of the day. There is another item that I'm hoping will be here in time for making the end of this little video series, but if it doesn't get here in time, it might be a little bit longer. But anyways, if you enjoy unboxing videos, there will be one more after this one, maybe? Maybe if things go well. This seller also sent me some really good photos of it being packed up. She sent me so, so many photos of each individual item going into this. So I feel like that's, that's a much better service than the Taylor Swift store, and I don't mind paying the teeny little bit extra that I did in order to get that. Okay, so here we go. So here we go. This seller packaged this really well. They honestly went above and beyond what you would expect. And maybe it's just because, you know, we were we were selling on like a third party platform and there's so many other places I could have went to. Am I almost in? Okay, so under the second layer of cardboard is a layer of paper. So I'll just take that away and then there's some bubble wrap in here. This isn't a big surprise to me because I did see all the photos of her wrapping this up. Okay, so I'm going to take them out one at a time and just kind of put them in a pile over here and then I'm going to get rid of this big box and then we can take it from there and then wrap them individually. So here goes. Okay, so the CDs, we have one, two, we've got three, we've got four, we've got five, and we have six. 
So I'm not really opening these in any particular order. If I'm completely honest, I can't even remember the order, only that In the Trees was number one, and I already have that, so that's not in this pile anywhere. So yes, let's see what I can find. We'll start with this one. Um, that's like the photo from like the Still on that Tightrope blanket. I think this is Running Like Water. Or am I just making these up? I'm not sure. When I look at that, I think Running Like Water. So that's a nice sealed copy. The next one, I can't really tell from the back cover which this one is. From the front it looks like it's going to be Betty's Garden, maybe? When I was thinking about maybe getting a deluxe edition, other than the regular In The Trees one, I was thinking about one like Betty's Garden, or the other one I was thinking about was Meet Me Behind The Mole, and this was before I knew what those lyrics meant. I just thought it just sounded really cool. Um, and I just kind of based it on that. Did we have photos? I think we had photos as well. Um, but I just really liked like the names of those two. I thought this was going to be Betty's Garden, but it's In the Weeds. And I really like this one because she kind of looks like a little meerkat on this. That's really cute. And I think that really amplifies the lyrics of Seven as well. Um, you know, like, please picture me in the weeds. And you can kind of imagine like a kid just popping out from a game of hide and seek when the mum calls them and asks them to come to dinner. It's got this picture on the back. I think this was on a poster called Kingdom Come and Done. Like I said, I'm not really one for names. This one, I'm almost certain is clandestine me meetings. I think my seller said that there was some damage to this one. Ow! This one, from what I remember, has some damage to it. But I think it was just damage to the CD case, which doesn't bother me so much. Yes, I'm almost certain this is clandestine meetings. Um, and stolen stairs. Oh, and that's a really cute alternate picture in the background there. That could have made a really good album cover. That feels like one that looks a lot like the album cover they went with. Like it could almost have been the album cover and then they decided to go in a different direction. Okay, this one is Betty's Garden. I'm pretty sure, because it's one of my favourites, I, sh I should know this. So there we go, Betty's Garden, am I right? I think I'm right, I think that's Betty's Garden. And the back cover is another really, really nice photo. There's some really nice photos from this photo shoot and I can completely understand why she wanted to do like eight different versions. I've also heard that the album booklets are different inside each one and I haven't really looked into that. I don't really want to open these but maybe I will at some point and kind of appreciate the differences because so far I'm really appreciating really appreciating the photography. It's more bubble wrap to get out of the way. So the last ones I have left are this one, which also is one that I thought was Betty's Garden, so I'm very confused. Um, and it has this nice picture on the back there. And then this one, which I can't properly see at the moment, is Hide and Seek. Or oh, it should be anyway. And again, it's got a nice kind of forestry cover on the back there. Oh, I think I've remembered the name of this one. Is this Stolen Lullabies? Or have I just made that up? I think this is Stolen Lullabies. Um, this one's a little bit interesting because it seems to have two parental advisory stickers on the front there. So is she extra sweary in this edition? I'm joking, I know she isn't, but... It's kind of funny that there's two of them there. So lastly, we have the Hide and Seek edition, which you're not going to be able to see here, but it actually kind of caused a bit of a rumour within the fandom. So if you didn't know already, there's Folklore, and then Evermore is the, the album that Taylor kind of brought out after Folklore, and she referred to it as kind of like a sister album, kind of d exploring the same themes, but like kind of going deeper into them. Basically, once she finished Folklore, she didn't want to keep didn't want to stop writing. It's very difficult to see, but on this album cover is the word Woodvale in white letters, just kind of in this area. That started the rumour that she was hinting on the Hide and Seek edition, where she was kind of playing Hide and Seek, that there was going to be a third album. And Taylor later said in an interview, no, that's just actually the code name for the album when we didn't want to call it Folklore so that people didn't get the the surprise spoiled and things like that. Basically what happened was they mocked up this design, they decided they didn't like the album name being on the design, they removed it, but in this copy they just... They just changed it to white writing and hoped people wouldn't be able to read it. And then they printed it 
in its thousands and some lucky smart person realized that on the hide and seek edition it says Woodvale in this top corner. So it's kind of wild to me that a little printing mistake on her merch, and I do genuinely believe it was a printing mistake. I said it was a printing mistake even before Taylor said it was a printing mistake because it's just so random. But anyways, it's so weird that she's had to comment on something that went wrong with the merch effectively. But yes, there we go. So these are all my new CDs. I know this concept is so old considering that these CDs came out like a year ago, but I'm so excited. I really like them. I'm really glad I made the effort to track them down. Um, if I were to do it again, then I would maybe buy it from the UK store instead. But the person who sold these to me was really, really nice. So I don't have any regrets of meeting them and being able to connect with them and stuff like that. But yes, that was really, really, really interesting. I wonder if I was to like stack these in the right way, if they do anything interesting. I don't think so. But you never know. I'll maybe play around with those later. I'm glad I made the effort to get these. I don't really know what I'm going to do with eight copies of the same CD, if I'm completely honest, but it really felt nice to have like the individual artwork. I found that that was actually something that I valued, and in terms of merchandise, it's not that expensive compared to some of the things that she sells, and it's not that, it's not as difficult to store as a poster, it's not as difficult to sell on as a poster if I decide that I don't want it anymore. But again, I wouldn't really be looking for crazy prices for these. If they suddenly became worth £100 and there was a Swifty who was willing to pay £20 for these, like £20 each obviously, if I was looking to get rid of them then I wouldn't really mind as long as I like got my money back if that makes sense. But yes, anyways, I'm rambling. So back to you, future Kate, for ending this video. Bye! I bought four of the CDs at £15 each, and two of them had some minor damage, so the seller sold them to me at £10 each. The £4.79 shipping made made this order a grand total of £84.79, which comes to just over £14.13 per CD. The CDs on the Taylor Swift UK store were £9.99 each, and delivery started at £1.95. Unfortunately, the CDs have since been removed from the store, so I'm unable to get an accurate quote for postage on ordering the six CDs direct. However, I think it's fair to say that while I could have got a better deal by shopping direct, there's a less than £5 difference per CD between what I paid and what I could have paid, so the seller that I went to offered me a really fair deal. I'm so glad that I managed to track these down for a reasonable price before they got too hard to find. I just wish that I'd done my research a little bit better. The second hand seller that I managed to find though was so honest, so keen to please, so genuine and they sold them to me at a really reasonable price so I have no regrets that that's the seller that I went to. I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did please make sure to like and leave a comment down below, that will really help me out. If you're looking for ideas of what to leave in the comments let me know would you have made this purchase, is there anything you would have done differently, what's your favourite song on folklore or anything else that you're wanting to tell me. Leave it all down below. I can't wait to continue the conversation and thank you so so much for watching everybody. Cheerio! Some damage to this one. Ow! Small room. Wardrobes. It's annoying. Very annoying.